Hey everybody, uh, JT here, going back over Component Studio 2. It has come to my attention, I was given feedback that I should give an intro in these videos, in these dev diaries, uh, as to what it is that I'm talking about, because there's a lot of people uh, that view this and have no idea what Component Studio is. And that is great feedback. So uh, from now on, I'm going to give like a little 20, 30 second little intro at the beginning of these videos, just to let people know that might see this, what Component Studio is. Uh, just didn't want to freak you out when you're wondering, why are you explaining to me something I already know? That's why. Uh, so Component Studio is a tool that is, think of like Photoshop plus Excel. It's a spreadsheet and a designer put together so that you can make uh, cards, tiles, tokens, things like that in an automated fashion. You design one and the system automatically designs the rest. And uh, Component Studio, you can access it at component.studio. There is version one out there right now. This video and this whole series of videos is about uh, developing version two of Component Studio. So with that out of the way, let's get into uh, the changes that I want to talk about today. Uh, as always, the point of these videos is to get your feedback on uh, what I've implemented. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, and uh, we'll see where we can go from there. So the first thing is, uh, I've completed data sets. And really this video is all about data sets and all of the things around data sets. So uh, we'll go into data sets right there. So data set is basically the spreadsheet portion of Component Studio. Um, and of course, you'll be able to import a, a spreadsheet uh, to, as starting data. But you can also just edit everything right in here. Um, and just like in the layers and things like that, you can use variables and all of that. Uh, but I just kind of want to go through uh, what's going on in all of this. Um, so let's, uh, these fields work just like the layer field. So let's click in here on gold. And I'm going to use a game variable of success, and we're going to paste that into this field. And you can see behind the scenes, it updated in real time. Oh, not a color. Did I pick the wrong thing? Our success. This is not. Huh. All right. Something bad is going on there. So let's game dot rows dot. Uh, Oops, game.vars.color or success. I'll just type it in since my little selector down here doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Um, anyway, you can see in real time behind the scenes here that this is updating uh, the system in real time as we put in these new, um, new variables into it. Uh, so everything is going to calculate in real time as you're adding uh, these things. So for example, if I add a new row, now I've got this going on here. And if I leave and come out, you'll see in the selector, I've already got my new row. So uh, everything is happening in real time as we're editing it. You can, of course, add more rows like I just did. Um, you can delete rows very quickly as well. Um, you can come in and change everything. You, you saw that you have the sidebar over here, just like you have with everything else. So you've got all these extra functions. And of course, I'll get these working. Um, uh, but yeah, all of this stuff uh, works just like it did out in the layer editors if you've seen any of the previous uh, videos. Now, now that we're in here though, sometimes you may want to rearrange your columns. So this, uh, these little functions up here, um, this will move it to the front, this moves it all the way to the back, left, right. So that sort of stuff, you can move stuff around, you can delete columns, you can add columns. So to do that, we're gonna go up here to uh, this, we're going to add a column and we'll just call this test and uh, we can add as many columns as we want and so I've now added a new column called test I can delete it just as easily no big deal um, and so it's pretty easy to go in and manipulate your data um, and uh, you know build out the data set that you need uh, to make components uh, there was an experimental feature called enumeration in um, in Component Studio 1, uh, it's going to be a standard full-fledged feature in Component Studio 2, um, and that works by selecting down here. Now, you can either select no enumeration, which is the default, so that means every row equals one card or tile or something like that. If you do enumeration, 
uh, you can have one row equal several uh, cards or tiles or, or what have you. So for example, maybe you have a game that has uh, three colors of a single type of each card or, or something of that nature. So let's, uh, let's go through how enumeration would work and I'll kind of show it to you out in the user interface. Uh, so right now we can't do enumeration um, and that's because you need a text field Right now we have a number field and we have a color field. You need a text field to do enumeration. So let's go add a text field um, and we'll call this enum color. You can call it really anything you want. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just throwing that out there for demonstration purposes. Now, um, what you wanna do is put a comma separated list into this text field. So you might do something like red, brown, orange, uh, and then black, blue, gold, and maybe this one only has two. So maybe this one is uh, just red and blue, something of that nature. Um, and you can enumerate anything. It doesn't have to be colors. It could be, you know, vehicle types or um, literally whatever you might need for your, for your game. Um, so what that does is now that we've had this field over here and we've got it separated by commas, we can enumerate based on that field. So when I select that, uh, what happens behind the scenes? We still only have one row each here, but behind the scenes, we now have all these rows out here. So if I select that first one and now I can use um, my color, let's try my little thing here, uh, row and enum color. And if I paste that in there, so this one uh, is red. And then if I go to the next one, it is brown. And if I go to the next one, it is orange and so on. So this is basically just, um, it's treating each row in our data set. So this row here, gold, it's treating this like it has three rows in it because it has it's, it's, this, it's copying this whole row, except that in each one of those rows that it's generating, it's generating it based on the uh, color that's in this field. So it'll get one color at a time. And it tells you that by putting this in parentheses out here. So you've got your different, uh, in this case, colors to go with uh, each row name. Um, and so your data set becomes a much larger data set uh, once you enumerate because you have uh, the number of rows times the number of enumerations in each row. Um, and so in this way, you can, um, you know, cycle through and, and make a lot of uh, basically copies of a, um, of a component just with a slight variation on it. And of course, you can use those variables to um, do conditional logic too. You know, if, if it's this type, we can do this cool thing. And if it's that type, we can do that cool thing and, and whatever. So there's uh, infinite amounts of variety that you can create off of uh, enumerations. The, uh, another thing that we need to be able to do is to set data set variables. And so just like you have game variables, uh, you can set um, data set variables. So I might uh, set a true false variable in here. Um, let's just say is, uh, what do I want to even say? Uh, is cool. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> whatever this is. And uh, you can put any, in a true false field, you can put any kind of true or false kind of thing. So you could just literally say true uh, or false, something like that. You could also say one um, or zero. Uh, empty is also zero. Anything is true. You know, anything that isn't empty is, is true. So it's truthy. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put a one in there, let's say. Um, so I've created a is cool variable. And then you can put those variables uh, into, um, you know, all of your, uh, in, any of your fields. And of course, with these variables, you can put in um, variable logic in here too. So you can literally put, um, you can use uh, the result of something else. So I, I could grab, uh, you know, that or, or anything else I want and put it in here and, and do conditional logic. We'll get into more of that in more detail when, when the time is right. Right now, we're just dealing with an early demo of this. So I don't want to get into too much of it just letting you know, for those of you who know Component Studio, 
uh, all of the things that you're used to and more will be there. Uh, so with that, uh, I guess that is all I wanted to show you at this point, except for one last thing, which is if you look right up here, you can see I have put this version that I've just demoed here out on um, this URL. So you can demo it for yourself. This is a non-functional demo. What that means is that the system works, it interacts the way it's interacting for me here, but none of this is actually tied to any kind of a database or anything, so nothing will get stored. Uh, this is not a real application. This is still just a playground, me trying to work out how this thing should work. So everything I've shown you in the previous eight videos is here. So you can play around with uh, layers, you can play around with groups, you can use the uh, new drag and drop functionality for groups. Um, so, you know, that sort of stuff. So um, you can come in here and uh, play with game variables. Um, you can, you know, switch to the front and the back of everything. You've got all of the features that I've been demoing in these last few videos. It's all up at this URL and I'll put the link uh, so that it's easier. You don't have to type out that whole thing. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. Um, so what I'm looking for from you is, uh, what do you think of uh, the data sets and the data set editor and setting up data set variables and setting up enumerations? Um, does that all make sense to you? Do we need to make some changes there? Um, you know, what, what, is, what is it that you would like to see from, from that portion? And then um, also feel free to go out and play around with the demo and let me know literally anything. So if there's something that you haven't seen um, that you'd like to see, obviously we're not even close to done yet as far as feature set. You know, you can't add images or text or anything. All you've got is uh, being able to add rectangles at this point. Uh, but based on what is there, um, you know, tell me what uh, doesn't work for you, what you'd like to see improved. Um, that sort of stuff. And uh, leave your feedback in the comments and I will uh, respond to it. I, I've i loved the comments that you guys have been giving me so far. It's been very helpful. I think this is going to be a way better app because of it. So uh, yeah, please leave your comments, uh, leave your feedback. I appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.